of need bites by marination and i hope okay hi meghna good evening nisha rani a very good evening to you hi pallavi good evening <clears throat> i hope all of you are doing great so welcome to another session of need bites by merit nation and today we are going to start with your second unit of biology of your standard 12 right and the first chapter over there is talking about the mendel's uh, genetics right so the topics that we are going to cover up over here is mendel's genetics its mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross and these are the topics that we are going to cover over here hello aditya hi snowflakes i am very happy to see you all over here once again so i hope everyone is pretty much there and we can move ahead <coughs> with our today's session okay hi anamika good evening so welcome to another session of need bites in biology hardik a very good evening to you i am very happy and pleased to note that you are here hi sachin arati good evening everyone okay so let's move forward and let us today discuss about mendel's genetic basically inheritance of a single gene that is the mono hybrid cross and the inheritance of two genes right so that is what what we are going to discuss over here and when i talk about the inheritance of two genes i am talking about neeti rai good evening i am talking about the di hybrid cross and over there the principles of uh, basically mendel are there the third principle of mendel's genetics comes into picture over there that means the two genes may segregate separately right so the uh, principle of independence assortment comes in over there okay let's move ahead and let us talk about the first question of the day and it is pretty easy so mendel considered many characteristic in the pea plant but one of the characteristics that mendel didn't considered while taking the genetics into account so among the following characters which one was not considered by mendel in his experiments on p well aritya is the first one to give the right answer hello kanksha yes yes my explanation all right thank you sachin well trichomes glandular or non glandular this is something which was not considered by mendel in case of your pea plant or pisum sativum right and we all know what are trichomes nesharani trichomes the uh, b is the wrong answer over here right so that is going to be the choice that you have to make and trichomes are tiny multicellular epidermal outgrowths or you can say multicellular epidermal hairs right in case of plants all right i hope yes it is there in the shoot system right and we know in the root system the hairs the root hairs are unicellular right they are an extension of a single cell itself they are not a multicellular organelle all right i hope this is pretty much clear and it was very easy and we can move on to the next question yes all right so here comes my next question of the day the genotype of a husband and wife are capital i a capital i b capital i a and small i yes among the blood types of their children how many different genotypes and phenotypes are possible well this is a very good one hi cute princess good evening okay so aditya says it is c sachin says it's a meghna says it's a snowflake says it's a yes what does nisha says i don't know yes avi says it's c aditi says it's c all right so everyone is saying c and over here the correct answer is c right nisha right so we have got four genotypes and three phenotypes over here right and let us work it out quickly and let us make this cross happen so i have capital ia i have capital ib and it is crossed with an individual carrying capital ia and small i so my possible genotypes can be capital ia capital ia good evening abdullah very good evening to you the second one can be capital ia small i 
the third one can be capital i b capital i a right the fourth one can be capital i b and small i right so i have got precisely three blood groups over here but four genotypes right so i have got three phenotypes and four genotypes so my answer is option c over here hello tushar good evening all right i hope it is pretty much clear to all of us and i can move on to our next question of the day ah tushar welcome welcome to the class okay so these are all very easy one yes of here good evening okay let's see the next question and the next question is also pretty easy and it talks about match the terms in column 1 with their description in column 2 and choose the correct option yes so i think biology at merk nation is asking us some question over there so better respond <laughs> all right so meghna says it's a for this question well we can see the three options see dominance in case of dominance it is a case of uh in a heterozygous organism when only one allele expresses itself then we say it is dominance right so for a it is number 2 for codominance it is number 3 in a heterozygous organism both alleles express themselves fully pleiotropy pleiotropy when a single gene controls many traits so that is pleiotropy right yes a single gene influence many characteristics and polygenic inheritance when a single trait is controlled by many genes like my height like my skin tone then it is a polygenic inheritance then the answer is this so yes absolutely right option a is the correct option over here yes everyone yes sandeep okay so i hope this is pretty much clear pretty much easy and we can move on to the next one right yes avi all right and the next question is in a test cross involving f1 die hybrid flies more parental type offsprings were produced than the recombinant type offsprings this indicates what so this is a very easy one Yes come on let's make it quick Ha ah, well i don't know cute princess okay akanksha says it's b what about others meghna says it's c aritya says it's b aditi says it's b sachin says it's b bhavya also says it's b snowflake says it's c sparkling says it's c well tushar you are right yes nisha answer is b here the two genes are linked that's why the parental combinations are more right and the recombinant frequency is lesser than that of the parental frequency otherwise it would have been 50 50% right so the two genes are linked and are present on the same chromosome quite near to each other that's why the parental combination is more and this is a case of linkage yes sonakshi answer is option b over here all right let's move on to the next one this was pretty easy pretty cool oh that's all right megna so the next question says i have a tall true breeding garden pea plant and it is crossed with a dwarf true breeding garden pea plant when uh, then the f1 plants were self the resulting genotypes were in the ratio of well these are all very very easy ones well well it is asking about the genotypes yes to shall i know you have studied it so that gives you a lot of confidence and that is pretty good to see okay well i haven't got even a single correct answer as of now okay aditya yes the answer is d yes c be very careful with the choice of your words right so over here it is the resulting genotype ratio that is being asked 
and we know in a in a mono hybrid cross in the f2 generation the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and the one represents my homozygous dominant two represents my heterozygotes and the last one represents homozygous recessive right so it's a case of not incomplete dominance it's a case of complete dominance but the option over here that is correct is option d yes yes all right let's move on and let's talk about the next question so a true breeding plant is what is it the one that is able to breed on its own Okay. Well, what is going to be the answer over here? We have the four options present, sparkling, tea. Well, I have taken all those questions which are very basic and fundamental to our understanding the Mendelian genetics. Right. So I expect all of you to give me the correct answer for these simple and easy ones. All right, that's great, Tushar. Yes. So the answer is option C over here. They are all near homozygous and produces offsprings of its own kind. So that is the meaning of a true breeding plant over here, right? A homozygous one for a particular trait. Yes. All right, let's move ahead of here and let us see what is the next question of the day. And the next question says the mechanism that causes a gene. To move from one linkage group to another is termed as what? Yes. So Nisha says for this one, the answer is C. Pure line and produces its own genotype. All right. Well, Akanksha says it's D. Aditya says it's C. Okay. Many people are saying it's C, D, and what? All not. Well, the correct answer for this one is option C. Yes. Translocation is the movement of genes from one place to another. Right? So that is translocation. Yes, it is not crossing over. The mechanism that causes a gene to move from one linkage group to another is translocation. Yes. Yes, Afia. Yes. All right, let's move ahead and let's talk about the next question. I hope it is pretty much clear. Okay. And the next question is a gene showing codominance has what? Yes. Yes, biology at Merit Nation has already explained you the answer. Okay. So a gene showing codominance has what? Both alleles independently expressed in a heterozygote condition, or is it the one allele dominant over the other? Of course not. Right? Alleles tightly linked on the same chromosome? No. Alleles that are recessive to each other? No. So option D is correct. Yes. Yes, you all are right. Right. So option D is the right choice over here. Well, Sonakshi, why? You see, when I talk of codominance, especially. We have seen the example of the blood groups. So capital I A and capital I B. When both are present, both the alleles are present, both are equally dominant, and both are able to express themselves. As a result, the individual has the blood group A B. Right. So this is a case of codominance. So in codominance, both the alleles of a gene are equally expressive and are able to express themselves completely. Yes, yes, as in case of blood grouping, ABO type of blood grouping. All right, let's move ahead. Yes, it is a deviation from the law of dominance as suggested by Mendel. All right, okay, so Sachin wants me to explain the option A. See, in codominance, one allele is not dominant on the other. That is the law of dominance, Sachin. Right. So we are talking of co-dominance. Co means together. So both are dominant over each other equally or both are dominant. So both are able to express themselves. 
yes and okay so you all know the answer for the next question the term linkage was coined by th morgan and we know that it is the morgan's work due to which we know about linkages and he worked in a model organism drosophila melanogaster yes megna right the fruit flies yes absolutely correct yes thomas hunt morgan right yes answer is a ah well sonakshi it is very easy learn it like a story right and you will definitely able to remember it and keep it in your head <laughs> it's all pretty easy so there are not many names involved only few are there okay let's move ahead and let's see the next question of the day we have taken all very simple and basic questions so nothing difficult and nothing very out of the box over here so yes chromosomal theory of inheritance was proposed by certain and bovary absolutely right yes yes so in his classic experiment on pea plants mendel did not use what yes you all are right the option b is the correct option over here he used the pod shape whether the pods are inflated or deflated whether the pod he used the pod color whether the pods are yellow or green but he didn't use the pod length as a criteria in his experiments right so i hope it is clear yes so this is all pretty easy and let's move on to the next question of the day a pleiotropic gene is expressed only in primitive plants is a gene involved during pleiocene period of the uh, evolution controls a trait only in combination with another gene controls multiple traits in an individual so what is going to be our answer over here yes aditya the option d is the right option over here yes kaira option d is the right one over here okay yes Saran, mohammed yes option d is the right one yes bhavya right right so a pleiotropic gene is a gene which controls many traits right so therefore it is termed as a pleiotropic gene so option d is correct so i have taken all very basic and simple questions right nothing very difficult or nothing out of the box over here and this should help us recall and revise the mendelian genetics at least right as well as the chromosomal theory of inheritance as well as the principles of linkages that th uh, hunt morgan has given to us right yes yes it is all there in your needs syllabus right saira kaira so i hope that is all for the day and with this We'll wrap it up our crisp session of Need Bites and see you all again for the next session of Hereditary and Inheritance. Right. So, in case if you want to give in your details and know more about the Merit Nation Need program, please fill in your details in the descriptions given below. All right. So, that is it. And let us say bye bye. Happy learning and all the best to all of you for the upcoming examinations. Bye bye.